Hello and welcome to Saki Tech. So iOS 8 Beta 2 is now available for download for developers on the Apple's developer website. And what you're looking at here is this is iOS 8 2 Beta running on the iPad Air. Now, um, basically not much has changed. So if you were expecting any amazing features to be added, they're not added. If you want to see what iOS 8 brings to the iPad, go and watch my other videos that uh, go over all the major features that were announced with iOS 8. Now in this video, let me just quickly show you what enhancements are worth mentioning. All right, so the first thing that you're going to take a look at is the podcast application. So this app is now built into iOS 8, alrighty? So it comes with iOS 8, just like these other guys, the camera app, the movies, videos app, the maps app. So if you tap and hold, it is not going to allow you to remove it. Okay, you don't see that little X symbol that you can tap and uninstall the application. So that's uh, number one. Now the other change that I noticed was that they added QuickType back into iPad. Okay, so up until now it was only available in iPhone on the iOS 8 beta, but with the iOS 8 beta 2 it is now available on the iPad. So as you type, you're going to get predictive um, recommendations on the top here that you can tap and choose so the iPad can complete your sentence for you. So this is called quick type and it is now on the iPad. Oh and the other feature in the messages that I noticed was that the the color of this icon was blue in iOS beta 1. In iOS beta 2 it is not blue it's now gray the camera icon right on the corner here okay. So these things are not big and uh, basically they have brought over some minor bug fixes some subtle changes but everything else looks the same so nothing new in the notification panel nothing new in the control center nothing new in the spotlight search and uh, if you want to learn the major features that they added to iOS 8 beta just go and watch my previous video that goes over every single major feature okay so far this is still not good for a consumer so if you are just a consumer trying to upgrade to get um, you know this this new operating system here it's not going to work for you applications are still crashing sometimes the app store works sometimes it doesn't work so sometimes I can search for an application sometimes I cannot search for an application it takes forever just like it's doing right now it's taking forever to actually pull up the app store okay so this is not ready for a consumer and one of the major bugs that was fixed was when you pull up the control center the brightness was not working properly okay now it works perfectly fine so those are the kind of things you should expect that were fixed in iOS beta 2 if you were expecting any new major enhancements you're not gonna get any of those probably at all all you're gonna get is bug fixes enhancements and the smoothening of the uh, system as we go closer and closer to the final release however if there is a major enhancements I'm gonna cover that so stay tuned.